And meanwhile, African trade ministers have agreed to resist an effort by the United States to redefine its trade strategy on the continent by introducing a country-to-country -country free trade agreements. Now, a proposal was made for a free trade area by the hosts at this week's African Growth and Opportunity Act Forum, which is going on in Washington. Trade ministers are discussing ways to transition from the current tariff-free trade concession system under a GOA. Now, U.S. Trade Representative Robert Alain Thizer wanted once one African country to step forward to negotiate a model agreement which could then be taken up by other African nations later on. Let's talk a little bit about this notion that the US could now negotiate uh, a free trade agreement, a bilateral free trade agreement with one African country as a potential model for the future. Number one, what do you think of that idea? And number two, is South Africa willing to be that test case? Well, um, the answer to the second one, we, we made very clear on that we're not putting our hands up uh, to be the, the test case. Uh, in any case, uh, uh, as uh, South Africa, we're part of the Southern African Customs Union, we'd have to negotiate as a block if we were to ever get into that. Uh, but um, the general message that came from the African Union was that we have now, uh, we're now in, well into the process of the establishment of the Continental Free Trade Agreement. And uh, our heads of state uh, indicated, and the uh, representative of the AU, the Deputy uh, um, Executive Secretary of the AU, read out the statement. We are now under instruction from our heads of state to abstain uh, from negotiations with third parties until that agreement comes into, into, into force. So entirely across Africa? That was the consistent message that we got from the, we, we delivered from the African continent. I made the argument uh, in some of my interactions, I said, well look, uh, what is the basis of the, the competition uh, that's happening on the African continent? Look at uh, your competitors, they're not trying to force free trade agreements down our throats. Uh, what they're trying to do is they are looking at the infrastructure build program on the African continent, they're looking at the industrialization objectives of the African continent. They're not Father Christmas because uh, their investments uh, give rise to a, a whole host of imports of their products uh, into the continent. Uh, they're the ones that are making the headway. Our message is we are open to a whole host of business-to-business -business relations with uh, companies in the United States, as South Africa, as a continent. Uh, but, uh, you know, the priority at this stage in time is, is, is quite frankly, uh, not to be uh, uh, looking at negotiating FTAs. How is it possible for you, as one of the key African leaders here, um, to negotiate with the U.S. at a time when the atmosphere itself is very uncertain. Well, indeed, I, I think that um, uh, the um, possibilities of uh, there being a uh, you know, series of escalating tit for tats across the world, which we will not really be major players in, uh, uh, the possibility of that will, will have effects on global growth, uh, on certainly global trade growth, and we will be victims once again, we'll be collateral damage. Uh, in, in all of this, as we already are in the 232s. So I think that we are concerned about this. Um, we also, um, I think uh, the proposition that the imbalances in the global trading system, which we think they're many, uh, but many imbalances in the global trading system, they don't, they don't justify uh, us not respecting the existence of multilateralism and a rules-based system.